What's going on church fam? It's Church Life bringing y'all another video. I pray y'all are having a wonderful and blessed day. So today we're going to be talking about calling, meaning, purpose. Just trying to figure out life. See, when the Heavenly Father has a great calling over your life, you can expect people to mistreat you. And people will misrepresentate you in front of people of prestige. They will speak falsely about you misrepresenting the truth. They will try to make you look bad in front of people that hold certain positions. See, the reason why this happens is because the devil don't want you to step into certain doors and influence the influencers. So that's why people will speak falsely about you to try to make you look bad. To try to say things about you like, nah, you shouldn't work with this person or you shouldn't be around this person because so-and-so did this or did that. And it's all lies. And that's because the enemy wants to keep certain doors closed in your face. He don't want you to be exalted. He don't want you to be in certain places in front of certain people. Because if you can influence people that influence people, that's how you start to make a difference in people's lives or a difference in the environment. That's why when you're chosen by God, you got to try the spirit by the spirit. Always listen to the word of God. Know the word of God. So when someone is trying to cause conflict in your life because God is using you in a mighty way or he's preparing to use you in a mighty way, you're going to know the truth. When the Heavenly Father is ready to exalt you in due time, there will always be a great fallout when it comes down to a crowd of people. People that you know, people that you love, people that you trust. There will always be a great fallout. And when that situation start to happen, that's what's going to reveal the truth. Who was really there for you? Or who was really against you. Because the devil wants to cause conflict in your life. He wants to keep you from answering your call. He wants to keep you guessing about life. So you won't be able to figure out your purpose or the reason why you live. The very essence, the very meaning of why you keep going. The devil wants you to be tormented in your mind, heart, and soul. And that's why we got to understand that the reason why these things starts to happen is because God is breaking bondage. He's breaking the chains that's keeping you down, that's holding you back. And he's separating you from the real and the fake. The people that's for God and the people that's against God. See, one thing the Heavenly Father hates is when people cause others to rebel against God. That's why today I want to remind you that it won't end like they thought it would end. That's why the words say in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, said the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. Now let's talk about Lord Jesus. See, the devil tried to stop that expected end from happening. When Lord Jesus fasted 40 days and 40 nights, and he was tempted by the devil, he was tempted by Satan. That was the enemy trying to stop that expected end. That was the enemy trying to hinder Lord Jesus from stepping into his calling. See, the meaning of life is to serve God with your life. Everything that you do, everything that is, is of the Lord's. And when you answer that call that's over your life, that's what's going to bring true purpose. Because it's about spreading truth. It's about keeping God first. Honoring God with the words you say. Uplifting people in the proper way. That's why today I want to let you know that your life is not a mistake. 
although there will be obstacles that you got to fight to push through, the finish line is right in front of you if you keep going. If you keep going, you will make it to that expected end. And Lord Jesus didn't stay in that tomb. He was risen by the Heavenly Father. See, the expected end is this. Although the flesh may fail us, although the flesh may perish, when we become a part of the body of Christ and the words say, all of us are perfect in Christ, we won't stay in that tomb. We gonna overcome every single thing that people may have said about us. It won't end like they thought it would end. People may have talked about you. People may have avoided you, pushed you aside, but God hasn't. He speak thoughts of peace, of hope, of courage, of love. He's not going to leave you by yourself. He will never leave nor forsake you. He's going to take that sadness out of your heart and replace it with joy. And that's why the words say in Proverbs 10, verse 28, the hope of the righteous shall be gladness, but the expectation of the wicked shall perish. So whatever the enemy may plan against you, it's going to perish. It won't continue to afflict you because the expectation for the righteous is gladness. God is going to fill your heart with his joy because you continue to ignore what people had to say. You continue to step through the doors with God's courage. God is going to give you the courage to step through the doors that people try to sabotage. And guess what? Sometimes the enemy will use your own thoughts against you. If you feel like you can't step up to the plate. You know what? That's how I've been feeling lately. I've been feeling like maybe I'm not the right person for the job. Maybe the Heavenly Father chose the wrong person. And the Heavenly Father said, who said that? See, Sometimes our own thoughts will put us in a place of shame and the devil will use that against you. God didn't place that thought in your mind. That's an intrusive thought. The devil trying to break into your mind to plant seeds of doubt. The devil trying to break into your heart to plant seeds of misery. Feeling like you can't amount to nothing. So that's why we got to give our thoughts, our heart, our souls, our very essence to the Heavenly Father because he's going to protect you. He's going to put that shield of protection around you in order for you to step into these places that the Heavenly Father is calling you to step forth. God says step forth. When Lazarus was in the tomb, Lord Jesus said, come forth. With a strong, powerful voice. Death had to let him go. That's what's going to happen in your life. When you put complete trust in the Heavenly Father. All these strongholds that the enemy tried to hold you down with. All these chains going to have to let go. It's going to have to be loosened. In the name of the mighty Lord, Jesus. Your life is not a mistake. You're here for a purpose. Our purpose is to come back to the righteousness of God through Lord Jesus. Our purpose is to let go of this world so we can live in the spirit of Lord Jesus. Our purpose is to become more than overcomers, more than conquerors. Because we have the victory through Lord Jesus. That's the meaning of life. The meaning of life is to use our free will to serve the Heavenly Father through Lord Jesus. Because did you know, Lord Jesus had free will too. But instead of allowing his flesh to get the best of him, he gave into the Spirit so he may serve the Heavenly Father, serve the Creator of life. 
and how I know Lord Jesus had free will because he said, the spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. So he fasted. And he even told his disciples, this type of power would come through fasting and prayer. So to increase spiritually so that you may step into your calling. Those are things we have to do. God don't make no mistakes. He chose you for a reason. So step forth. You have nothing to fear. Yeah, people try to sabotage your opportunities. The devil try to use your own thoughts of doubt to sabotage your opportunities. But God said, fear not, he will be with you. Step forth. Because God is preparing you for something mighty. Give his name all the glory. I pray this word bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. I love y'all.